Hey guys, welcome back to Nicole's View. So the old decrepit uh, fossil here you see on your screen, her name is Judy Ryer. Um, old devil Judy Ryer, if that's how you say her last name, but whatever at this point. Um, she's being called out for her cave beast posts on Facebook, which were, of course, races in nature and... Um, you know, folks are now, I guess, figuring this out that she's done this. And I'm going to read this article. If you are black and living in Colorado, you might want to know about this because, uh, yeah, this is who is getting elected in your state. But of course, we know this is going on all over this country. All of the uh, psychotic white supremacists are getting elected. And I mean, look who we have as commander-in-chief. Okay, let's see. This is the Denver Post I'm reading this from, and it says, a Southeast Colorado Republican appointed to the state legislature this week has apologized for Facebook posts that were critical of African Americans and Muslims, and which drew concerns from top state party officials. I would like to apologize for the comments or posts on Facebook that have been found offensive and racist, no, you are just apologizing because you were caught. Typical cave demon behavior. You get caught. Oops, sorry. I shouldn't have wrote that out loud, basically. Judy Ryer said in a statement email to the Denver Post. However, the fact of the matter is, I am not a racist. Okay, so you've been caught saying racist crap on Facebook, but you're not a racist. Okay, fine. This country was founded by immigrants and I embrace all Americans, no matter their walk of life. Diversity is what makes America, America. So why were you not writing this on your Facebook post? This is how you know, of course, that they're demons, they're liars, they're, all they do is deceive, deception, and all of the above. This is not to be a shocker, but to just reaffirm what we're talking about here. And for those of you who may not be following politics in your state, you better be seeing what's going on and who's getting elected because this can't affect you. Uh, Ryer appointed Monday night to the vacated seat of State Representative Clarice Navarro said, diversity in fact makes my family, referring to a photograph from her son's wedding in China that she included with her statement. And there they go backpedaling to, well, I have a black or a Asian or a um, Hispanic friend. So that just cannot make me racist. Okay. These claims of racism by the Denver Post are absolutely deplorable and I will not be distracted by them. The statement reads, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. My attention is instead focused on ensuring that the children of my district and the children of this great state receive a quality education. Lies. That the people of House District 47 have meaningful and long lasting employment. More lies. And to continue the fight for our farmers and ranchers who are the very heart and soul of this state. The Denver Post did not call Ryer a racist. Jeff Hayes, chair of the Colorado GOP, called Ryer and expressed his displeasure and disagreement in no uncertain terms. Following Denver Post uh, questions about her Facebook post, critical of African Americans and Muslims, according to a party spokesman. In an interview with the newspaper, Ryer also questioned whether former President Barack Obama, so this goes back to the birth of BS, uh, brought to you by your white supremacist um, chimp in chief, was born in the U.S., an idea that has been debunked, and said that the black community, here they go, and the Democrats are the most racist group of people that existed, and that black people hate white people with a passion. <laughs> I can't lie. Yeah, 
Yeah, some black people hate white people with the passion, the likes of you, because we know what you've done to our people for the last 400, 500 years. Okay? <laughs> what do you expect, you cave devil? When you treat people a certain way, what do you expect? That's like raping someone and saying, well, that person doesn't like me and I've done all I can. So I still got to, you know, treat them bad and rape them. That's what she sounds like right now. Assistant House, House Majority Leader Cole Wist, a Centennial Republican, noted that neither he nor other lawmakers are involved in vacancy appointments such as Ryers, but said that racism and bigotry are absolutely wrong. Yeah, but what are you going to do about it? Nothing, because you are complacent in uh, white supremacy. So it's just a bunch of BS what you're talking. <clears throat> a vocal vacancy committee voted six to five on Monday night to have Ryer fill Navarro's seat. Ryer bested Tamara uh, Axworthy of uh, Pueblo, who is appealing. Okay, so they say all this, we're not for this and all that, but they still, they still voted her in. You see how they are? They always remain on code and will always, always have each other's backs. Um, House District 47 spans Oterio, Pablo, and Fremont counties. Ryer said uh, Sweeney is set to serve out the rest of Navarro's term, which expires in about a year. Navarro took a job with the Trump administration. Okay. All right. So another, most likely another loser. So yeah, I just laugh at this. Um, and of course, as we always say, we're not surprised. We are not surprised by the likes of demons like this. Just look at her. She looks like she's demonic. I mean, look at this. I see, when I look at her face, I see a demon. I see a devil. I see a real devil. Um, and look for her to do bad things. I, I don't expect anything less. Nothing less. So if you are in Colorado, meet your new uh, appointed political person here. Yeah. Anyway. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the story. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. So I thought, so I thought I needed you.